What if a tornado formed inside a black hole? First off, let's talk black holes. These cosmic giants have gravity so powerful that nothing can escape, not even light. Imagine a place where the rules of physics go haywire. Now picture a tornado. It's a fierce rotating column of air. But wait, black holes don't have atmospheres. They're vacuums with a singularity at the center surrounded by an event horizon. So how could a tornado possibly exist there? Here's a twist. Scientists at the University of Nottingham created a quantum tornado using helium superfluid cooled to ultra-cold temperatures. This tiny tornado mimicked conditions near rotating black holes. Fascinating, right? But let's get theoretical. If a tornado-like structure did exist inside a black hole, it might look like the swirling accretion disk. This disk is made of matter spiraling inward, drawn by the black hole's immense gravity. The physics behind it? Insane and extreme. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that black holes can warp space-time. A rotating black hole, known as a Kerr black hole, drags space-time along with it. This frame-dragging effect could be similar to a tornado's rotation, but on a cosmic scale. So while a tornado as we know it can't form inside a black hole, the swirling chaos of an accretion disk and the warping of space-time offer a similar mind-blowing visual. Next time you gaze at the night sky, remember, the universe is full of wonders beyond our wildest imagination. What would happen if a spaceship entered a black hole? First, let's talk about the gravitational pull. As the spaceship approaches the black hole, it would experience an intense gravitational force. The difference in gravity's pull between the closer and farther sides of the spaceship would stretch it out, a process known as spaghettification. This effect is even more pronounced in smaller black holes due to their steeper gravitational gradient. Imagine being stretched like a piece of spaghetti. Pretty wild, right? Next, we have the event horizon, the point of no return. Once the spaceship crosses this boundary, it would be impossible to escape. Beyond the event horizon, the gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can get out, making it a one-way trip with no return ticket or ability to send information back. Now let's talk about time. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, as the spaceship gets closer to the black hole, time would appear to slow down relative to observers far away from it. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, means that time behaves in unexpected ways near a black hole. Imagine watching the universe speed up while you move in slow motion. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Finally, at the center of the black hole lies the singularity, a point where density and gravity become infinite. Here, the laws of physics as we know them break down. It's unclear what would happen at this point as the forces are so extreme that they challenge our current understanding of physics. There are also hypothetical scenarios to consider. Some theories suggest that black holes could lead to wormholes or even parallel universes. But these ideas remain speculative and are not supported by empirical evidence. The true nature of what lies within a black hole remains one of the greatest mysteries in astrophysics. After exploring the fascinating journey of a spaceship entering a black hole, let's delve into a fundamental concept that defines these mysterious cosmic entities, the Schwarzschild radius. Named after the German physicist Karl Schwarzschild, who calculated this exact solution in 1916, the Schwarzschild radius is a measure of the size of the event horizon of a black hole. But what exactly does this mean? The Schwarzschild radius is defined as the radius below which the gravitational attraction between the particles of a body must cause it to undergo irreversible gravitational collapse. In simpler terms, it's the point at which an object becomes a black hole. For any given mass, if all of its matter were to be compressed within its Schwarzschild radius, the escape velocity from the surface would equal the speed of light. This means that not even light could escape from inside this radius, effectively making it a black hole. For example, the Schwarzschild radius for Earth is approximately 9 mm, and for the Sun, it's about 3 km. So what happens if an object crosses its own Schwarzschild radius? It undergoes a process known as gravitational collapse, a point of no return where the object's gravitational pull becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Here's what theoretically happens. First, the Schwarzschild radius marks the boundary of the event horizon, the surface surrounding a black hole, beyond which escape is impossible. Once an object is compressed within this radius, an event horizon forms and the object becomes a black hole.
Next, as the object crosses the Schwarzschild radius, theories predict that it will continue to collapse to a point of infinite density known as a singularity. At the singularity, all the mass of the object is thought to be concentrated at a single point in space with no volume, leading to an infinite gravitational force at that point. At the Schwarzschild radius, the escape velocity, the speed needed to break free from the object's gravitational pull, exceeds the speed of light. This means that anything, including light and matter, that crosses this threshold is inevitably pulled into the black hole and cannot escape. The intense gravitational pull at the Schwarzschild radius causes space-time to curve so sharply that all paths lead towards the singularity. The object's mass effectively warps the fabric of space-time, creating a well from which nothing can climb out. Physically, the object would no longer be visible to an outside observer as light cannot escape. Observationally, the object would appear to freeze and fade away as it approaches the event horizon due to the effects of time dilation and redshift. Understanding the Schwarzschild radius helps us grasp the incredible forces at play in black holes and the extreme conditions that govern their existence. Now that we've explored the concept of the Schwarzschild radius, let's delve into another intriguing aspect of black holes, Hawking radiation. Named after the brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking, this theoretical prediction adds a fascinating twist to our understanding of black holes. So what is Hawking radiation and what role does it play near a black hole? Hawking radiation is the theoretical black body radiation that is predicted to be emitted from just outside a black hole's event horizon. This radiation arises due to quantum effects that occur in the intense gravitational field near the black hole. But how does this happen? According to quantum mechanics, particle-antiparticle pairs constantly pop in and out of existence in the vacuum of space. Near the event horizon of a black hole, the gravitational field is so intense that it can separate these pairs. One particle falls into the black hole, while the other escapes, appearing as radiation. This escaping particle is what we observe as Hawking radiation. One of the most fascinating implications of Hawking radiation is that it allows black holes to lose mass over time. As a black hole emits Hawking radiation, it loses energy, which, according to Einstein's mass-energy equivalents, translates to a loss of mass. Over incredibly long timescales, this can lead to the gradual evaporation of the black hole. Imagine that a black hole, which we perceive as an eternal cosmic vacuum cleaner, can actually evaporate. The temperature of Hawking radiation is inversely proportional to the mass of the black hole. This means that larger black holes emit less radiation and have a lower temperature compared to smaller black holes. Micro black holes, if they exist, would emit more radiation and could evaporate much faster relative to their mass. Despite its theoretical significance, Hawking radiation is predicted to be extremely faint and is many orders of magnitude below the current best telescope's detecting ability this makes it challenging to observe and confirm directly. However, its implications for theoretical physics are profound, particularly in the areas of quantum mechanics, general relativity and thermodynamics. Hawking radiation suggests that black holes are not completely isolated from the rest of the universe and can interact with and affect their surroundings through quantum mechanical processes. Understanding Hawking radiation helps us grasp the dynamic and somewhat paradoxical nature of black holes. These enigmatic cosmic entities, once thought to be completely black and isolated, are now seen as objects that can slowly lose mass and potentially vanish over time.